we know the future is coming. That wonderful time where flying cars will take us home and robots will make our lives a paradise. We know it is coming and that every aspect of our lives will change forever. Soon we will be there, sooner than you think, because an Al Ghaili today proposes a flying hotel with a capacity for 5,000 people, a giant cruise ship that will fly powered by a nuclear reactor. Future, here we come. We all want to move forward in time when we see a film whose projections of the future happily surprise us. We all want to travel there. No matter if it's a dystopian universe, the technologies that are invented to tell that story mesmerize us, making us wonder, when will it be possible? Whether it's holograms, messages from beyond the grave to our loved ones, mobile phones built into our bodies, or memory eraser machines, we always want to have that device that will help us cope with everyday life in a simpler and more interesting way. The truth is that the technology that accompanies us today was an impossible wish from some distant era. Mobile phones, calculators, cameras, cars, and even household appliances. Every future arrives at some point. What we don't know is when. When are flying cars coming? Elon Musk and the car companies are not resting on their laurels to deliver on the promise of the autonomous car, to be able to get in the car and steer it where to go, to take a nap or watch a movie on the road without worry. That dream seems to be getting closer. The future is slowly showing its nose. What we do know is that a measure that advances the future is obsolete for what it comes to replace, and humanity discards it to savor the new. Holidays are about to change with the arrival of Al Ghaili's new flying hotel. The monstrous aircraft will feature cinemas, theaters, sports centers, and even a hospital. In addition to its luxurious rooms and innovative modern design, banishing forever the old nights under the stars by the campfire, goodbye to sleeping in tents, and hello to the future Al Ghaili air holiday concept. Many of these futuristic dreams are just figments of our imagination and desires. However, it is comforting to know that there are people working on it right now. People whose dreams are about to come true so that we can enjoy the new changes to come. Al Ghaili is a Yemeni biotechnologist, molecular scientist, science communicator, director, and producer. He is best known for his infographics and videos on scientific breakthroughs. But you may know him best for his technology videos on social media, where he accumulates a total of 5 million views a week. But he also attracts attention in the world of science communication. The mind behind the concept of holidays in the air is also a young director and producer of science fiction films. One of his titles is Simulation 2019, which has won awards for excellence and best visual effects. The young man knows how to generate in the public the futuristic fantasy that we all desire. His recent exhibition, The Sky Cruise Flying Hotel, is a project as extreme as it is ambitious. The gigantic hotel, inspired by the design of graphic artist Tommy Holmton, would house 5,000 passengers, powered by nuclear energy and piloted by artificial intelligence. During their stay, passengers will be able to enjoy a lounge with 360-degree panoramic views, shopping centers, sports centers with gyms and swimming pools, restaurants and bars, game rooms, and even cinemas and theaters. Quote, if you want to declare your love above the sky, the wedding lounges will offer you and your partner a unique experience, the promotional video says. All inclusive by air. The highlight of the project is its zero emissions proposition, powered by an onboard nuclear reactor that will run the 20 turbofan engines. Guests and supplies will arrive on other aircraft that will safely connect to the sky cruise, he explains. The project has attracted thousands of positive comments, admiring his imagination, as well as negative comments, questioning whether it will ever fly, as it would defy the basic laws of physics and aeronautics. To which Yemen's Al Ghaili responds positively. Quote, I think the current flying experience has become tedious and obsolete. It is time for new innovations that will make our flying experiences more comfortable. I have always been a fan of Studio Ghibli. 
Castle in the Sky is one of my favorite films, in which we see huge flying boats with people living inside. But as much as the intentions are good, and the idea fascinates everyone, science and aerodynamics will have the last word. Will the Flytanic fly? Nuclear reactors have been on scientists' minds for years. The idea of replacing combustion technology with atomic energy is not new. In the 1950s and 60s, there was a certain obsession with nuclear reactors. The technology was booming, and during the Cold War, research was carried out into the possibility of creating an aircraft that could be powered by nuclear energy. During the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union, it was thought to be a good idea to have bombers with a nuclear reactor on board, and the Convair NB-36H was developed. The engineers in charge of its design and implementation demonstrated how to solve problems related to crew safety from radiation and how conventional nuclear-powered aircraft engines of the time were safe. Multiple tests and modifications were carried out, from the type of jet to the amount needed to operate it, finally shutting down the HTRE-3 as shown. Once that problem was overcome, they continued with crew safety, shielding between the reactor and the cabin to distribute the load. The next tests arose from the need to determine which aircraft would be chosen for modernization when a B-36 Peacemaker bomber that had been damaged in a tornado in Texas was restored and chosen for testing. Between the summer of 1955 and 1957, the aircraft made 47 test flights, many of them with the R-1 jet on, but not for the purpose of powering the engines, but as a way of testing and gathering data on the aircraft's viability. Reports showed that the shielding was safe, but in the event of an accident, there was a risk of radioactive contamination. After several years, and although the tests were positive, the program was suspended, and its advancements served as a basis for different research and the development of nuclear reactors used by NASA. The future has been decades in the making. It may not be the Nike Air Mag shoes from Back to the Future 3 that would make you fly, or the robots that the creator of the Jetsons imagined with their ships, but it is slowly getting closer, with giant ships that will house passengers and adventures from another era. The future is in the imagination of the present. The number of years it takes to arrive is irrelevant when what matters is the imagination and courage to dream it and propose it to the world. The Sky Cruise is already projected in our thoughts. The films that Al Ghaili saw have already had an effect on his imagination, and have succeeded in imagining a near future with enormous proposals and visions. Nuclear fusion may be the way to achieve this, although it does not have a good reputation, and there is still a long way to go to fully understand it and master its dangers. It may be the path that will lead man to fly in a more sustainable way. Man's quest to dominate every aspect of the Earth has led mankind to conquer lands it could never have imagined. And it is these futuristic dreams that drive mankind to continue to grow. The future is coming, and it is we who are walking towards it. Friends, thanks for joining us for another video. If you've stuck around to the end, why not leave a comment? Would you buy tickets to travel on the Sky Cruise? Subscribe to the channel to receive notifications every time we upload new content. Don't forget to like the video if you're interested in this type of content, and share it with your friends and family. Thank you very much. See you in a future video. See you soon.